couldn't lift anything heavier than an iPhone. So those first weeks after the surgeries must have really sucked because his arms were basically useless. He probably couldn't even open a jar of pickles by himself or get dressed without help. What's up guys, it's Uranus from Brussels. Welcome to another video. Today we're talking about one of the worst fitness injuries I've ever seen. The video about the injury was shared on every social media platform over and over again. A poor guy ruptured both his bicep tendons doing preacher curls. It's one of those ooh that must have hurt kind of videos and it's an ultra rare injury because he ruptured both his tendons at the exact same time and a lot of people said that he was screwed for life and that he will never lift again again well now it's exactly 12 months later let's see how he's doing how the surgeries went if he recovered and if he can finally wipe his own ass now the terrifying thing is basically this could happen to anyone at any time in the gym without warning and it's one of the worst feared injuries in the gym one of your tendon pops and you're in for surgery and a lot of misery your tendons don't reattach themselves to get by themselves to the bone so you have to go under the knife there's a lot of recovery involved and your muscles might never recover the same shape that they had before and the same strength which of course makes lifting harder most tendon ruptures i've seen in the gym happen in the arms or in the chest area so let's see what happened to our friend illuminati iron that's actually his name on instagram there might be a bit of graphic content now of the injury so be aware i think i've seen this video on every gym fail compilation possible so he's doing biceps curl and he wants us to show progressive overloading on the preacher curl and quickly He's increasing the weight between every set until he reaches 135 pounds and that's actually quite a lot of weights that's 60 kilograms in that position it's quite a lot of weights that put stress on the bicep tendon this is the reason every time i do this exercise i think about this video because his face of terror says it all so first of all the load the weight was too high for those tendons the tendons stretch beyond what it could actually handle on the eccentric load so that means when going down his sitting position was also not the best he was a bit too low and the barbell was loaded with a lot of weight 60 kilograms it put way too much strength too much effort stress on the tendons he's going down a bit too much and as soon as his left tendon is actually rupturing all that weight is moving to his right tendon and he's also giving up and both of them are rupturing inside of like one or two seconds so he ripped both his tendons straight from the elbow bone and uh, that's why the tendon is actually going up like that no the bicep the bicep muscle is going up like that and it looks completely deformed and yet his face actually says it all one simple mistake an entire year of recovery now let's talk about this man's physical and mental rehabilitation because you might think that his lifting days are over but you're far away from the truth of course there were surgeries and the first couple of days after the accident his arms were blue and inflamed because of the trauma sustained and the inflammation and also because of the trauma there probably was a bit of internal bleeding because the tendon was detached from the bone so they actually have to open you up and reattach that tendon to the bone of his forearm your bicep tendon can actually rip in two different places you can have it close to the shoulder or close to the forearm bone what i don't understand is that our friend here had the surgery on one arm and then a couple of weeks later he only had the surgery on the second arm and yeah for a couple of weeks after that he had to live with both his arms inside of a cast and he couldn't lift anything heavier than an iphone so those first weeks after the surgeries must have really sucked because his arms were basically useless he probably couldn't even open a jar of pickles by himself or get dressed without help after that physical therapy could start and he was put in bracers for quite some time three months post-surgery he was finally allowed to lift five dumbbell weights again after three full months guys anyone watching this video and that actually lifts knows the pain and the frustration this guy actually must have been through so only after three months he was allowed to lift a five pound dumbbell so basically he had to relearn every single exercise from scratch with a weight as light as a bottle of water you know so the lightest weight possible now he documented his entire process and it's quite inspiring stuff because after years of lifting struggling to lift five 
pound dumbbells must really be hard for him. After six months of recovering, he was finally allowed to do bench press again and to do push-ups again only after six months now what i really like about this dude he was he was extremely positive about his entire recovery process even though it was a long one he admitted he fucked up and then he was like okay now i'm going to recover and i'm going to come back stronger than ever before there is some craziness also in this man and coming from brussels i can like crazy people too after nine months he was finally able and allowed to perform a full pull-up which put a lot of strains on the biceps because it's one of the heavier pulling movements so i don't quite know the extent of this man's injury but it must have been quite bad because in his latest update post he states that it's 12 months after the sur after the injuries now and the surgeries and he's still not 100 percent recovered after one full year some people have a shorter recovery after an injury like this and for some people it's a long freaking grind of course his injury was ultra rare because both bicep tendons popped at the same exact time the only other time i saw an injury similar to that was a guy who crashed his dirt bike at 100 miles per hour you know this is a gym injury it must have taken him a really freaking long time before heading down the preacher curl bench again after that injury i remember when i injured myself doing bench press and i landed in the freaking er the next day i remember that it took me a really long time to get back on that bench and do the exact same exercise with the exact same way you know the the thing is after the kind of injury you have a bit of ptsd in your brain and it takes quite some time before you can get back on that horse and doing the same freaking shit that sent you to the hospital so i understand this man's pain and frustration after these kinds of injuries your mind is actually trying to mess with you and you have to show it who's actually boss now i really hope this guy is going to recover 100 percent and that his tendons in the future are going to stay attached to his bones i really hope you enjoyed the video leave me a comment it always helps subscribe if you like my content catch you on the next one uranus out man there's a lot of passion that came out of me jesus christ just looking at this man's injury made my shirt completely wet man anyway guys take care catch you on the next one